This video explains how to create raised planting beds. Why should you do raised planting beds? They reduce soil compaction and improve the soil, making it looser and more crumbly. Raised planting beds will help protect the planted area in times of excess rainfall. All of these things together will help you grow more vegetables for you and your family. First, lay out a one meter wide planting bed with stakes and string. Then mark out a half meter wide footpath between beds using another set of stakes and strings. If the soil is compacted, double dig the planting bed area to loosen the soil. First, dig up and set aside soil to about the depth of the shovel. In the same area where you have dug, use the shovel to loosen the soil one more depth of the shovel. This process loosens the soil to a depth of 20 to 30 centimeters. The procedure will result in improved plant and root growth. Next, dig a center trench that is 50 centimeters wide and 20 centimeters deep. As you remove soil, pile it on both sides of the trench. Line the trench with a layer of banana leaves, cabbage leaves, or other large pieces of vegetation. Use what you have. Next, place 20 centimeters of vegetation in the trench and then water it. If green vegetation is available, it is preferable. If only dried vegetation is available, use what you have. Then use the sprinkler can to water the vegetation layer. Add five centimeters of animal manure on top of the vegetation and then add water again. If the animal manure is both dried and readily available, you can add more to the trench. However, if you have fresh animal manure, it would be a good idea to mix it with the vegetation. Cover the center trench by pulling soil over the planting bed area. Pull extra soil from sides of the planting bed, leaving a recessed footpath on both sides of the planting bed. When completed, this process will result in the raised bed elevated 35 to 40 centimeters above the bottom of the footpath. Your slopes will likely not be as steep as the slope shown here. They are more likely to look like this. Smooth the top of the raised bed using a rake, a piece of wood, or your hands to prepare a level raised bed surface for placement of the drip irrigation lines. If you have dried manure from chickens, goats, or rabbits available, a thin layer of it can be added to the top of the raised bed prior to planting. This top dressing of nutrients will give your plants a quick start after they have been transplanted into the planting bed. In order to optimize your production, it is best to plant two rows of plants in each raised bed, as shown here. If drip irrigation lines are not available, the plants can be hand watered. If water is limited, only water at the base of your plants. After two or three years of production, planting beds can be renewed or rejuvenated. Simply move your raised beds half a meter to the left or right. The old footpath will become your new compost trench. 
As the new compost trench is covered with soil, the old compost trench will become the new footpath. Remember that as plants grow, they remove nutrients from the soil. Through the use of composting, we give nutrients back to the soil. By adding compost to your raised planting beds, you will increase the organic matter as well as the soil nutrient level. The result will be increased production